Hello my friends and welcome. Today I'm going to cover a Polygon interview featuring Gavin Moore, who talks in depth about Demon Souls. At the end of the video, I'll be announcing the winner of the previous giveaway. As always, let's jump right into the interview. We've been thinking about doing a remake of Demon Souls for years. It's one of the most beloved games in the PlayStation catalog. It's the most requested title for a remake that we've ever had, but I was always a little afraid of tackling it because it's so beloved. It wasn't until we redefined what a remake was with Shadow of the Colossus on PS4 that we felt like we could take on the challenge of Demon Souls and do it justice. Our approach to this is we try to keep the core of the game untouched. With Demon Souls, that's the gameplay, the logic, and the AI. And then everything else is stripped away. And then utilizing the incredible power of the PS5 and how much we could really go wild on this title, we started to build everything back. Nothing goes into this game without being scrutinized in detail. As long as the core remains, and we're true to the original vision, then we feel comfortable adding stuff into the game. That's how we approach it. That's our ethos. Everything that was in the original PlayStation 3 version is in the standard edition of the game, so nobody's missing out on anything. There's a lot of new content that we've added to the game, and for fans to find and enjoy. And there are lots of things that I think fans are going to go, Oh, that's amazing. Great, you know. I didn't know they put that in the game. I'm not going to tell you any more than that because I don't want to spoil anything. You no longer have to wait three minutes for the game to load after you've died. That's where a lot of the frustration came from in the original. I would say you should play the game with the haptics because it can really make a big difference. It's made the combat grittier and darker. You really feel metal striking metal through your controller audio, visual, and tactile all working together at the same time. It makes a big difference to the gameplay. So when you do a parry, you feel it in your hands before you kind of visually see it. And it's that split second reaction time. It gives you that little edge that you need. That can actually make the game slightly easier than people think because you're feeling the game world. We did two different modes in the game. Cinematic mode, which is native 4K, which looks stunning at 30 frames per second. And performance mode, so you can play a dynamic 4K at 60 frames per second. That is going to give you a smoother animation that is going to give you a little of that edge. If you like the starkness and the despair of the original PlayStation 3 version, then we have a bunch of filters that you can choose from and play the game that way. So if you want to play the game in what we call the classic filter, which harkens back to the days of the PS3 and the look of that title, then put that filter on. If you want to play in black and white, play in the noir filter. It's all there in the options. If you don't want to play with our camera, you want to play with the original camera, turn the original camera back on. I would say with the filters though, if the fans could just play the game the way we made it, so you can see how we take advantage of the power of the PS5, then I would ask that they do that. I'd be very grateful. Though after that, play the game how you like it, please. I think that's really important nowadays that people want to share their experiences. The tragedies of, oh my god, I died again or your trials as you succeed with your friends. There are some other modes in there as well that I won't talk about. I will let the fans find out for themselves, but we definitely want to see what people create using the photo mode. Unfortunately, the music that was recorded for the original version was digital only, and I think the score by Shansu Kida is so good that to do it real justice on the PS5, we had to make sure it was recorded by a full orchestra. So we created a modern reimagining of Shansu Kida. Amazing score with dramatic new arrangements. We went to Air Studios of London and we recorded that with a full orchestra and a full choir. We even recorded a famous pipe organ in the Temple Church in London and that runs as the theme for the music giving it this really dark, wonderful, flowing sound. I think there are 120 of the finest musicians in the world in the score. It's stunning. I think people are just going to love the way the music sounds. You know, the grinding part of Demon Souls, you can't take that part away. We will never do that. But yeah, we have improved drop rates, and we have added some extra items as well to make it more varied on what's dropped sometimes. And some of those items are really cool, so check them out.
There are only five unbroken stones in the Nexus, and that's the same now as it was in the original. So there's no new art stones and there's no new world. It's true to the original. It's a fair challenge in my view. It's all about learning enemy patterns and learning environments. Knowing in combat when to challenge yourself with that risk and reward combat system. When to go in and attack and when to pull back and defend. I do hear it a lot. Demon Souls, that game's really hard. I'm not gonna play. And I think you're really missing out if you don't play this PlayStation Classic. The only thing we change about world tendency is that we felt it was too difficult to understand what tendency you were in, in the original. So we tried to improve the UI so you can see which world tendency state you're in. We approach the original cast and asked them to come back and take on their incredible, iconic roles. And we were very lucky to get many of those back. Obviously, some people, their voices changed or they moved on from acting. But we did get many of them back and we re-recorded all new dialogue. That was an incredible experience for us. And that wraps up the interview with Gavin Moore that was posted today. Without further ado, I'd like to announce the winner of the Dark Souls 2 art book giveaway, and that is Flaming. Send me an email to the address on the screen, and I'll get that in the mail for you. Thanks for watching, everyone. It feels really good to be making videos again. Have fun, and stay safe, my friends.